Blah, 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 ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into Animal Crossing. Which, fun fact, uh, this game was originally an N64 game in Japan, and when they ported it to uh, North America and localized it, they turned it into a GameCube game. Um, and I think it was even supposed to use the short lived N64 DD, which is the N64 disk drive adapter, which, if you've never heard of it, you're not alone. It was only ever released in Japan. It was delayed, and it, uh, you know, only a few games uh, ever supported it, including SimCity 64, which is a SimCity uh, game for the N64. I don't know if you guys know that existed either. Getting all sorts of fun facts here today as we get going in Animal Crossing. Um, I will say, before we do get started here, um, I mean, Animal Crossing is sort of a, an open world sa sandbox style game inspired a bit by Harvest Moon. We kind of just go around, do tasks. There's no real goal besides getting a better, bigger house. Um, but I had never played this before yesterday. And I sat down, and I made a let's play of this game. Played through, played through the game for about an hour or so and wrapped up the let's play and then looked at what I had made and thought, this is, this just sucks. <laughs> Having not played the game, I didn't really know what I was supposed to do and there was a lot of learning as I went and I didn't really get too far. And so last night I looked through a walkthrough, I read a bunch of stuff. And so we're coming back and this is the one, this is a let's play you guys are gonna see. If you wanna see the original uncut embarrassing let's play, uh, I'm gonna throw that up on Patreon as a, as a bonus episode. But uh, this is the one you guys are actually gonna wanna watch. So um, only if you're uh, a J fanatic will you want to check out the uh, other version. Anyway. Um, having played this game yesterday, I can give you a bit more of a tour. Yesterday, I was just sort of figuring everything out. So the game starts off, you talk to these weird animals. Um, I So you can see, I made a town called Tan. It was July 8th. Um, one, one interesting thing about this game is that the events in the game sync up to the clock on your system. So I've actually, I monkeyed with the clock to set it to July 8th, which is a hometown day for my, uh, uh, you know, town. But I want to reset and do a whole new town and I'm gonna change the clock and I'm gonna set it to July 4th. Uh, we're going to build a new town. What, are you sure? But if you wanna build a new town, then everything in 10 will be erased. Everyone in 10 will now vanish. Trust me, dude, I'm okay with that. Uh, that 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 town yesterday was really just a, a preview of uh, how this game worked. Um, so yes, I do want to create a new town. Um, one thing I will say that I noticed yesterday is that, I don't know if it's just me or you guys notice this too, but I find that as Nintendo games go on, from the NES to the Super Nintendo to the N64 to the GameCube, the more modern systems, the amount of dialogue you have to sit through in some of these games has just gone up exponentially. Like, I just went to erase my town there, and <laughs> you guys saw there was like several uh, bubbles of text that I had to sit through in order to do it. And I get the Animal Crossing here is supposed to be a bit of an immersive experience where part of the joy is getting to know these characters and stuff. But maybe it's just me, but I find the level of dialogue in here, you could have toned it down or given me a faster way to skip it. Like, look at all this dialogue to just start a new town. Look, it's still going. I haven't even had the choice to start the game yet. Although, again, I guess some people would consider this part of the game. And maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm missing out by not uh, enjoying the immersion. But anyway, this guitar lounge dog, lounge singer guitar playing dog uh, basically tells us that uh, we should go off and start a new life. A strange cat approaches us on our train and he's gonna be very intrusive asking us a series of very personal questions. His name is Rover but he's clearly a cat so I don't know what they were going for here. Um, we're gonna change the date. So I've got a walkthrough up, uh, just so that, I, I mean a walkthrough, this game is non-linear, so you know, um, there's all sorts of things you can do. 
Uh, and so what the walkthrough is telling me is like all the different things you can you can do in this game. And one of the things I want to do is see fireworks. So this is your delayed July 4th special episode, guys. So we want this time. Oops. Another funny thing that uh, I realized yesterday is that um, it didn't matter what time I set on my system clock. When I came into the game, it was always a different time. So uh, the fact that you can actually set the, the time in the game is actually a really nice feature that they give you. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a kind of a cool idea to like look at the time on your clock and have events in the game that take place uh, in the game world. Um, although, you know, when you think about it, it's kind of funny, like, you know, your game is now on a schedule. Like, imagine you were out with your parents on July 4th, back in the day when you were playing this, and you were like, I gotta get home by 7, man! I don't want to miss the fireworks in uh, Animal Crossing, <laughs> you know? Um, but, but, because you can't monkey with the clock, you could miss them and just come in the next day and, and change the clock, and then you could see them, so... Um, in a way, you're on a schedule, but in a much more technical way, you're not. Anyway, now he's asking me my name, and uh, we're just gonna go. We're gonna keep it simple here today. I like how you've got this uh, GameCube controller with the giant keyboard in the middle. They actually, they actually did make this keyboard for uh, Fantasy Star Online. You could buy a GameCube controller with a giant keyboard. I've wanted to get one for years. I have a PlayStation 2 controller with a giant keyboard in the middle, but the GameCube one is just a little too pricey for me to buy for... Uh, like, I don't want to own it for any particular reason. I just kind of want to own it because it's cool. Um, and it's kind of too expensive to just throw the money at it for no real reason. So maybe one day I'll be... Uh, maybe one day I'll have tons of extra cash and I'll finally make the purchase. But uh, for now, it's just... Uh, just a fantasy. I have enough weird controllers. I guess I don't need every single one. Um, anyway, this this guy's weird. One thing I notice about this game is that they always laugh at you, put you down, give you a hard time. All the characters are like, you're stupid, you're funny, you're an idiot. Like, constantly. Um, they're just constantly ragging on you. And I don't know if this is like the Japanese sense of humor or whatever, but... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yesterday I was naming my uh, village Tannhauser after, uh, you know, Tannhauser Gate. It was a Blade Runner reference, you know, Tears in the Rain and all that stuff. Let's just keep it simple today and go to J-Town. Jay is going home to J-Town. I am the prodigal, prodigal son come home. And what, what magical adventures will we discover in J-Town? Who knows, guys? We might pull on a tree and eat some fruit that falls out of it. We might fish. We might deliver some packages to townsfolks. In fact, those are the things we're going to be doing today. Um, <laughs> amazing, right? Yeah, Animal Crossing is this really interesting kind of game. Um, I know the more recent Animal Crossings. I, I mean, I know that they have like tons to do in them. And honestly, after playing this game yesterday, I kind of got an itch to like, I would really like to see what a modern Animal Crossing can do. And this older one is like, you're much more limited. You can kind of talk to townsfolks, deliver things, fish, you can dig, um, collect bugs. And that's kind of it. You can buy furniture and stuff, sort of Sims style for your house, like furnish your house. Um, but it's really just sort of, this game is almost a casual game, I would say. Like the idea is to just go and live in this town. And there's no way to particularly die. There's no bosses to fight. There's nothing to do except exist. So sort of, you know, it's almost more casual than Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, if you guys don't know Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon was the Super Nintendo game that was the model for Stardew Valley. So if you know that, you know Harvest Moon. But um, Harvest Moon, I would say, almost even had more to do because you actually had to farm. You know, you had a goal. Um, whereas in this, it's like you don't even have to farm. You just, you walk around. You're a home, you're, well, I guess you're not homeless. You have a home. But I, I would classify you as a drifter. I'd go that far. Um, anyway, if you haven't been paying attention to this dialogue, this, by the way, that was the opening dialogue to just start the game. See what I mean about the excessive dialogue that Nintendo started to pour into their games? Um, 
That whole conversation basically boils down to the idea that I was going to J-Town, had no plans for where to stay. This cat met me, and he knows somebody in J-Town who's going to give me a house, and as we will see, also a job. So it's really nice to uh, to meet people on your way in. Um, you know, riding in, a, in uh, on a train like this to, like, a new town and, like, just starting a new life, it kind of reminds me of Westworld. Because, like, that's how the guests in Season 1 would get into the park. So... You know what would make Animal Crossing cool is if it was full of debauchery, you know? Like, you could sleep with prostitutes, you could, like, murder people and, like, duels. <laughs> you could, like, do all sorts of, like, extreme stuff. That would be hilarious. Animal Crossing rated R. Um, or, or they need to make, like, a like an adult version of Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, adults only. All about violence and sex. But it's similarly open world, and it similarly links real events to uh, your clock. So, it has the Animal Crossing DNA, but uh, just much more adult. See, look. The, the, the craziest thing I've ever heard. Madness. Absolute madness. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. They, they laugh at everything you do. He's laughing at the fact that I came to this town without a uh, place to stay. Like, they're so rude in this game. Um, this guy, Tom Nook, by the way, is a raccoon in the North American version. In the Japanese version, he's a tanuki, which is a raccoon dog. Um, and I think they just straight up changed him to a raccoon because no one in North America, even even I, you know, for a long time didn't know what a tanuki was. Tanuki suit in Super Mario Brothers 3, I thought tanuki was Japanese for raccoon. But a tanuki is not a raccoon, it's a raccoon dog. Um, but I think after Mario 3, Nintendo realized nobody in North America knows what a tanuki is. They're like, whatever, it's a raccoon suit. You know, because that's what we called it as a kid. We called them raccoon suits. Um, anyway, he's giving me the pick of the litter for the houses. We just go into one, and if it looks like the kind of house we want to live in, then we're just allowed to take it. This one looks like a dungeon. Oh, God. Oh, God. I picked the top right house yesterday. Uh, I don't want that one. Uh, let me check out this other one over here. Maybe we'll pick the one I picked yesterday. But I, I never even went into these houses down here. Because look, it takes so long to go into a house. <laughs> like this one looks the most normal, so I think we'll take it. Just like hardwood floors. Uh, let's... I'll take it. Okay, now what happens... Um, oh, crap. I said no. Okay, whatever. We're gonna take the house that I took yesterday. We're gonna go through our little dialogues here. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, yes. Beautiful sheet metal floors. Very homey. Alright, what do you think? How was it? I'll take it. You're quite sure this is the one you want. Here is good. Very well, it is decided then. Now what happens here is Tom Nook is going to lure me into... They did this town back in like the early mining days, you know. An employee would show up to work at a mine, and the company running the mine would say, here's a house. It only costs a thousand dollars. And they'd be like, sweet. And the company would say, and you make a hundred dollars a week. And you'd be like, sweet, I'll have it paid off in no time. And then they say, but all the food and expenses and things that you're going to have to buy to live, total about 200 bucks a week. So good luck. And basically they hook you in to indentured servitude. And that's basically what Tom Nook is doing here. He's running a modern grift, modern spin on that. Look, he's laughing at me. He's putting me down. He's destroying my self-confidence and inner worth. And what he's going to do is offer me this deceptively simple mortgage of only he's gonna sell me the house for only eighteen thousand dollars doesn't seem like a bad idea you know okay if if you could buy a house for eighteen thousand dollars nowadays in real life you guys should do that eighteen thousand dollars is a huge deal for a house but the thing is in order to pay it off he's gonna make me work at his store and as you will see that's where he gets ya and it uh basically I don't know how long it would actually take to pay off this house, but I played yesterday. I don't think I made more than a thousand bucks, so... I mean, I guess it would take you weeks to pay off the house. Um... Oh god, don't... Don't tell me. I don't know. We're skipping all... Yesterday I read all this dialogue, but... You know, today I, I want to get farther into the game, so it's easier to just explain things to you guys. 
He wants a thousand bucks. It's all I have in the world, and he's taking it from me. Um, and he's counting it towards my, uh, mortgage. So see, this is what I mean by he's scamming us, man. I don't trust this Tom Nook guy as far as I can throw him. And I'm a psycho little kid dressed in plaid bullhorns. So what does that tell you? Right, he's giving us directions to different places. One sort of annoying quirk of this game is there is a map in the game, but you don't get it initially. So initially you kind of have to walk around clueless. You have no idea where to go. But okay, here's here's the here's the idea. So in Animal Crossing here, you have this whole little town to explore. And there's all sorts of stuff you can discover. There's various people who live in the town. As you build up the town, more people will actually move into the town. So look, here's Mint. Do you need something? Ah, don't be rude. Tell me your name before asking mine. I see. Jay, huh? I'm Mint. I'll see you. Ah. So we just met Mint. Uh, here's a gorilla. What's this guy's name? Pee-wee. <laughs> Reminds me of Pee-wee Herman. Um, I love that guy as a kid. Then he was like disgraced for like... What, what did Pee-wee do? I, I've always been hazy on this. I remember as a kid, Pee-wee Herman, he uh, was like publicly disgraced for like... I think he exposed himself in a theater or something. But I found out as an adult, he was at... I think he was at an adult theater. And you know, he was touching himself. So, you know what? Not condoning the action or whatever, but it's an adult theater. It probably happens, ooh, fruit, all the time, right? Like, who goes to an adult, like, okay. <laughs> now I sound like a pervert. But like, you're at an adult theater. Are the standards so high that like, oh my God, he exposed himself in the theater. Like, was he walking around showing it to people or was he just like sitting privately, you know, in, in a row? Enjoying himself maybe a little too much. And, you know, whatever, you can say that, oh, like, that's that's inappropriate, and he's a children's entertainer, he shouldn't have been in adult theater and all that stuff. And I'm like, fine, but was he putting it into his work? Was he, like, showing children? No, I don't think he was, and I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe my morals are just, like, maybe my moral compass is broken, guys. But as an adult, I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, was it enough for him to, like, get arrested and stuff? Like, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's certainly people who I know who've done far worse, who've gotten away with uh, far more, you know, like, like literally Paris Hilton's whole claim to fame was that she was in a sex tape. <laughs> Pee Wee never made a sex tape, yo. And I mean, I guess Paris Hilton was never a children's entertainer, but I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with any of this. What a detour of a conversation. Um, don't judge me, guys. Uh, anyway, so here's our plan for today. Uh, we're, so yeah, as you can see, you can just sort of wander around this village. Uh, what we're going to go do is do a few jobs for this guy who hired us. We're going to save up for a fishing rod and try and buy it. Um, oh, but before we even do that, let's head down to the beach because it is the 4th of July. It is the evening. And I picked that time and date specifically that we could see some fireworks. So if I can figure out how to get on the other side of this river. The thing about this game is that rivers and cliffs are your worst enemy. Like it's actually really hard to navigate around them. I mean, you if you own this game, you would probably just memorize all the different ways you could go to like cross this bridge or cross that bridge or whatever. Hey, look, a duck person. Dina. So these villagers are all different from uh, who the villagers that I saw yesterday when I played. In fact, um, I haven't seen a single duplicate yet. Um, I even met a bird named Jay, and there was like an interesting conversation where they talk. They actually had special dialogue for the fact that me and Jay had the same name because I put my name as Jay as well. This is the mayor. Who are you, you whippersnapper? Who do you respect most? Let's uh, play his game. My grandpa, sir. Uh, have my wizened old looks inspired respects? Respect? What's your name? Jay. Well, that's nice. It's different. Your parents be proud. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. This is a wishing fountain, which I don't understand um, what you're supposed to do, th do here. How are you? In areas where there's very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to acre B5 to see what is amiss. Oh, never mind. It gives you hints. Just figured that out. Okay, so in theory, down near the lake, which is here, 
we should be able to see fireworks. Right? No way to check the time currently. But I did set it for July 4th. I did set it for 7 p.m. Okay, we do have to cross this stupid river. Thank God there's a bridge here. Ooh, more cherries. Yesterday there were pears. So obviously things randomize. There we go. Um, we can pick up seashells too if we want, but I don't know what the purpose of that is. And... Fireworks? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> they don't seem to be here. Maybe you have to do your jobs for the, uh... For the shopkeep first. I don't know. I was- I wasn't able to get a single event to actually show yesterday. When I played, so... I think maybe I have to go do my jobs. Alright, well we've gotten a nice little tour of the island. You guys have seen that there's... Quite a bit of land here. A lot of it is undeveloped. Uh, let's leave those cherries. We don't need more. See, look, he's sticking cherries in his pockets every time. I think we have enough cherries. This is a clothing store where you can get clothing patterns, but we're nowhere near ready to do that. So yeah, I guess you can design clothing, you can go fishing, you can catch bugs, you can dig, you can plant flowers and trees, and you can talk to people. And that's, that's see, as far as I can tell, that's Animal Crossing. But I do have a little secret to show you guys uh, before we quit today. So let's go ahead and go through the opening jobs that the shopkeeper has for us. And maybe that will unlock a bit more of the game. Maybe we'll actually get to see fireworks before uh, the day is out. But, uh, oh, there's a dump over here, eh? Wait, did the town rearrange? I do not remember... Wait, the post office is over here. Oh my god, I was just assuming the town was set up the same as yesterday, but I don't think it is. Let's check this map. Oh my god, it's not! Wait, so... Where... Oh, the shop is in A5. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, that's kind of cool how the town is uniquely generated every time. I didn't know that. I didn't know that yesterday. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, up here is the shop, though. Here it is. This is Nook's Cranny. Alright, sounds like his butt. <laughs> like his butt crack. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Oh man, anyway. I, I got a dirty mind today. What, you, what took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding, very good. You need to change into these clothes. He's dressing us now. Um, if you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing. And in an non-creepy way, he wants us to strip naked right here and get changed right in front of him, so... I will do it. Is this what you want? Is this what you want to see? Alright. He's like, ah, yes, that was good. Now change back, but do it slower. Hey, look at the, look at the, like, dead eyes he's got, too. This, this boss, man. He's a slumlord pervert. Lures young boys into servitude and makes them work at his store. Tom Nook. That's the that's the, the name of a criminal if ever I heard one. Hardcore criminal. Um. Oh, I wasn't paying attention at all. Uh, you can't work because you have too much stuff in your pockets. Oh, right. He wants me to um. He wants me to just plant flowers, right? Oh, but. I have too much stuff in my pockets. So let's eat some cherries. Grab these. I find the inventory system in this game is like also a little bit clunky. If I'm being honest. But uh, anyway, alright. I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is dull and not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort for shopping experience. People like shopping in areas that are clean. When you're finished, come tell me, yes? Alright, so, pretty easy. We have some flowers and trees. And we just have to decide where to put them. Let's see here. Let's put, um... One tree. Uh, how do we do this? We don't want to grab it, we want to plant it. There, one tree there. And we'll put... One tree there. And, I don't know, I guess we'll put, uh, we'll put the other tree right here. 
Not symmetrical, but what are you gonna do? Now, let's make like a row of flowers. Plant. And plant. And plant. Do it over here too. So there's a nice little row of flowers leading into his shop. And you can also chop trees down, but I was not able to get an ax yesterday. Um, oh, by the way, it's... Hey, wait, it's only 519? Wait, did I set the time wrong? 17. Oh, I did! It's supposed to be 7 o'clock. <laughs> that's funny. So that's why the fireworks aren't there yet, because it's too early. We have two hours to kill. Oh, my God. I might have to quit this game and then come back in a monkey with the clock before today's out so we can see the fireworks. Um, beauties in the eye of the beholder. So I won't bother asking where you chose to plant everything. I'm not the one who get laughed at when the travelers from other villages see your work. See, they're always putting you down. Also, dude, I totally think that they're gonna laugh at you because it's your store. They're not gonna know who I am, man. Think about it. Logically, it doesn't make any sense what you're saying. And he only paid me 80 bucks. $80. I have 18,800 to pay off. I just made 80. <laughs> see you in six months. Yeah, you moved to J-Town, but you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm going to give you a little break. Introduce yourself, and don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor. Probably find him wandering the wishing well. I'll see you later. You know what? I already did that. Uh, you say you've met everybody in town? Well, aren't you the social butterfly? Whoa, ho, ho. Perhaps, though, you were not quite thorough. Somehow, I think you may have missed somebody, hmm? Could you greet everyone? Oh, you literally have to say hi to everyone? That is actually really annoying. Um, okay. I'm like stuck in the woods here. I'm gonna go back to the map. Because, uh, we'll do this efficiently. But, um, where are we here? Okay, here's the map. Yeah, it, like, you don't even get a map for like a couple more errands. Okay. Let's see. So let's go all the way over here, introduce ourselves to these guys, and then the rest are all just like right over here. So I might have even met the two people over here, but it's like, I just can't remember. We walk all the way here, look, there's cherries everywhere. Also, I wonder what you put in the dump. Probably just stuff you don't want anymore, and then it like disappears. You have to go down like a little thingy here. There should be two houses. And have we met these people? Oh, we met that guy. And I'm pretty sure we met this guy. Yeah, we met them both. Damn it. <laughs> so there's no point going all the way over here. All right. Well, that's good, I guess. Now, there's a house somewhere over here. Oh, look. Uh, Hank. Good evening, sir. Hey, we've never met before, have we? Well, then, let me introduce myself. I'm Hank. If you forget who I am, just... Remember, I'm the one who says buck, buck, buck a lot. Bad habit. All right, nice to meet you, bro. Welcome to J-Town. Don't forget I'm the mayor, man. Never forget who runs J-Town. All right, met that guy. So there's like three guys over there. Let us see if we have met them. Look at that thing that's like going nuts, eh? I think that's weird. You can also go into people's houses and check out like where they live and stuff. Um, we met both of those people. Like one more person over here somewhere, right? Shoot, I already forget. Crap. Is it over here? Hey, what is this? The ball. Wait, what? Didn't see this yesterday. Hey, look, we're playing with a ball. Yeah. How sweet that is, man. Oh, uh, here we go. What the hell are you? A koala. Huggy. Huggy the koala. Good evening. Wait a minute. Do I know you, bear? You must be new in town. Well, sure, lucky we ran into one another. By the way, what's your name, bear? Hmm, Jay, huh? Stop by and talk again soon. I think they call her Huggy because, uh, she gives out free hugs. Which I, you know, I could use, I could, I could use a hug. I'd take a hug. She's just giving them away. 
Um, I did not see that ball yesterday either, so that's kind of interesting. Um, alright, dude, I met everyone. So, did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew. If you don't get along well with the folks here, you'll never fit in. But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Uh, I need you to deliver some furniture. It's like you're actually working the shop. Take this furniture to Pee Wee, an acre B4. Alright, don't stop to stiff the roses. So, each screen is numbered and uh, lettered. So, we're on column 5, row A. So, if we go down, now we're in column 5, row B. And then, if we go one over, now we're in uh, column 4, row B. So, we're in B4. And this is where we'll find Pee Wee, hanging around. Yo, bro. It's you again, little dude. So then, little dude, why are you here? Delivery! Here you go, man. I delivered a sofa. What are you doing with my furniture, Jay? You speak into my good ear. Working. Give me a break. What kind of a... Oh, a mortgage. I understand. <laughs> See, they know. They know that Tom Nook lures you into a, to a terrible mortgage deal. Um, it's generally a good idea before you have, to have money before you buy something. Yeah, no kidding, buddy. I kind of got strong-armed into that mortgage. Um, you haven't had a chance to get any of your basic house essentials, have you, little dude? Ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, little dude? You should. This fine painting. Wait, I was expecting payment. I think Tom Nook is gonna go nuts on me if I don't have his cash, man. You can't pay for furniture with a, a painting. It, the world doesn't work that way. Um... He's talking about how you can, like, move furniture and stuff, blah, 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 blah. Like, a lot, like, there's a lot of stuff in here, I'm like, I, f I think I could have figured out you walk up to a radio and press A to turn it on. But they, they felt the need to have a whole th paragraph of dialogue in there for you. Just in case you couldn't figure it out. I don't know, I just feel like there's, there's easier ways to convey things to players. Um... Than dialogue. Like, I don't know. I, I know there are a couple people who watch my channel who, like, are game developers. Um, I'm, and actually, this question is for you guys. I'm just kind of curious, like, when you develop games, like, obviously, they must go through playtesting and stuff. And, like, is it the case where you come up with, like, cool ways to, uh, to show stuff to players, but then the playtester's like, nah, man, you just got to spell it out with dialogue, you know? Um, or is it the case of just more modern games, just more clever ways of showing gameplay to characters? Because I really feel like too much dialogue in a game really slows down the gameplay. I don't know. Again, might just be me. Me and my impatient ways. But whenever you can cut out the dialogue and let people interact instead, I think I think that's better. I mean, you know, games are meant to be played. They're not books. I'm not here to read a great novel. I'm here to play a game. I want to interact, you know? Um, I understand that you need some level of story and dialogue and stuff, but, um, I don't know, like, at a certain point across the line, it gets a little excessive, I think. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. Personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Mint, who lives somewhere in row B. Good business. Mint is a very loyal customer. This notice is a special sale. That's what you write. I'll leave it up to you. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Jay, who works for me. <laughs> and he's a stationary to write the letter. Alright, Mint needs a letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter. Day two. Alright, let's write this letter. Write a letter. Uh, choose the address. Mint? Uh... Yo... Yo... Biatch? I'm gonna get you deals. Ha ah, ha 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 ha. Seriously, you're dead. All right, I think that's an effective advertisement for my store, don't you think? All right, done. That is okay. That's how you sell stuff, buddy. That is how you. That is how you move merch. All right, let's go to the post office and mail this this uh, advertisement slash uh, uh, you know threat. Uh, this is mint too. Hello, hi Jay. It's gotten rather dark out, hasn't it? 
Let's get right to the point. What can I do for you? Um, see you later. Whatever you say. Don't worry. There's a letter coming for you, Mint. A letter you might never gonna forget. Um, let's check. Post office is right over here. Actually, I think he said he did give me a map. There we go. Yeah, you can pull a map down now whenever you want. That's actually very handy. All right, into the post office. Hello, I have a letter for Mint. Pelly? How can I help you? Mail a letter. Send. If you don't mind, can you not have the return address? Don't tell her where it came from. It's kind of an incriminating letter. Would you like to mail more? No, I would not. Come back anytime. All right, see ya. I wish you could see the reaction when uh, Mint gets our letter. I mean, they obviously haven't programmed in, uh, you know, uh, like letter recognition technology. So the character is not going to know it's a threatening letter. Probably the default response is, Oh, I got your lovely letter. Thank you. I will come shop. Well, all the letters like half a death threat. <laughs> all right. What, what else can I do for you? Did you send the letter? Good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. What a dick! 130 bells? I did this- I, I- you guys saw me, I wrote the letter and took it right over. How fast was he expecting me to go? I'm uh, glad you got that. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're gonna have problems in this town. Oh yes, well, I, uh, haven't actually prepared the next package. Uh, waste of your time. Okay, so now... Next, I think we just go and help a villager with literally anything. So let's just find the nearest villager and do something and then come back. And we can do our next task at the store. So, um, oh, here we go. I was going to call him Kiwi, but it's Pinky. Or <laughs> Pinky. Peewee! Oh, God. Hey, little dude. So what do you want, little dude? Give me work. Let me think. Nah, I've got nothing that needs doing. Wait, what? Okay, fine. Where's Mint? Hey, Chipmunk. Ah, oh, yes, Jay. It's gotten rather dark out, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. Uh, enough idle chit-chat. Did you need something from me? Uh, need any help? Let me think. No, I'm afraid. Oh, God, really? None of these people need help. Okay, let's go over and down. There'll be another house right down here. Forget who's down here. Wherever you are, though, maybe you need some help. Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's Huggy. Maybe she just needs a hug. I'll give it if I'm going to get it. Let me just say that. Um, how come you always show up when I've got nothing for you to do, Jay? Do you plan it that way? Oh, Huggy, you utter disappointment. You disappoint me so. Does, does no one need help? I wonder if, like, I have to go and reset the clock or something. Um, alright, out of the way. Be somebody on the other side of these houses. Now, in most video games, you can go to your house and sleep, and that will, like, fast-forward in-game time. But because this game is linked to your clock, I don't think you can actually do that. Uh, you'd actually have to, like, walk away from the console. Um, what's new? Buck Buck? Give me work. Oh yeah, I got a little job for you. Check this out. I lent a videotape to Dina the other day. Nicknamed Dandruff, because Dina's all about fl Ew. Thing is, I'm too busy to get my property, so can you go pick it up for me? What am I, a mob enforcer? Consider it done, of course. Of course I'll do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with like a sledgehammer and be like, Dina, you give up the goddamn tape. By the way, we all call you Dandruff behind your back. Like on Star Trek The Next Generation when everyone was calling Barkley Broccoli. Which is like the... <laughs> if you're going to insult a guy, give him a real... Give him a real name. It's it's actually kind of funny to think. Like in the, the world of Star Trek The Next Generation, it's so squeaky clean. That when they make up a nickname for someone, they call him Broccoli. It's pretty hilarious. Um, 35 p.m. Sugar Bill. So tell me, Jay, what do you want? Sugar Bill. Um, I'm picking up. If you're looking for the videotape, I'm afraid it's not here, Sugar Bill. I had it until just a little while ago, but Pee Wee came and took it from me. Talk about rude. Okay, so let's go find Pee Wee now. 
Boy, it's a good thing this young child has nothing to do but to do all the, like, little errands that people in town are too lazy to do for themselves. Not exploitative at all. Um, over this way... I kind of have the town memorized a little bit. There's Pee-wee on the other side of the riverbanks. Yo, Peeve! You got that tape. You said you had nothing for me, but you lied. You lied, buddy. I'm gonna push him in the river. Can we do that? I'm picking up. Here's Hank's videotape. I never should have kept it so long. I'm bad. I'll send a letter apologizing. Can you throw an extra sorry in for me? Can you stuff your sorries in a sack, mister. I'm through with you. He, he barely escaped with me not pushing him in the water. I was going to. The last second. Had a change of heart. Alright, dude, here's your weird tape. There you go. Um, blah, blah, blah. What can I do for you? Delivery! Delivery for Hank from Pee Wee. There you go, dude. Here's your tape. You're amazing! I can't believe you actually got my videotape back for me. Why? I just had to walk over and ask for it. He's like, whoa, you blew my mind, dude. You got my tape. I never would have thought of walking over and asking for it. Um, dude, you fully helped me out. Hope I can count on you in the future, Buck Buck. Wait, shouldn't I count on you? He's like, man, you totally did me a favor. Hopefully that means you can do me a favor in the future. Not how favors work, yo. You're supposed to do me a favor now. The whole thing is topsy turvy. <laughs> you got it backwards, buddy. You owe me now. You owe me now. Also, I've been doing. I've done like four jobs. I have no money. Not not a single dollar to my name. I think sometimes when you pull on trees, you can get lucky, and money will fall out. Sounds crazy, but it's true. I'm not- I'm not joshing you guys. Let's see. You can also get unlucky and- Look! Money! Told ya. We just got... A hundred bells. We now have more money. We now have more money from pulling at a tree than doing four jobs at our job. Um, you can also get unlucky and bees can swarm out and sting ya. So, you don't want to pull on too many trees, but... Yeah, we just made a hundred bucks. <laughs> Not from our job. Were you able to help anybody out? Many animals need things. Did you get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous. Yeah. This guy gave me a stack of paper and says I owe him one. How generous for having done an errand for him. Anyway, take this carpet to Huggy. Alright. Just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat. Then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to grab too much. He's giving me real mixed messages. Half the time, the job he wants me to do is go and talk to people, and other times, he's like, alright, here's a job. Don't chit-chat to anybody. We don't have time for this. Like, make up your mind, man. Should I be social or not? Um, what's going on? Delivery! Here, take your rug. Oh my gosh! Oh, she loves me. Finally! Super sweet. You want to have, like... A room to die for, you totally gotta have the right rug and wallpaper. I so don't care about how rare furniture is, you gotta go for a total coordination. Oh, now wait, that I- now that I have this carpet, I really don't need the old one. Eh, maybe we can like, deck out our, uh, house a little bit before today's out. It's part of Animal Crossing, right? Yay, we got a rug! Like Mondo, different places, different patterns you can use to decorate your room. The castle is getting your hands on the one you really want. Okay. Drop by Tom's Nook Shop daily, but I always find what I want. So I go talk to the hand. So I go talk to the hand? He knows I'm just kidding, though. What is happening? She's like telling me this crazy anecdote. Uh, you better only browse in your free time. Okay. Thanks for your life story. I'm gonna go back to my job now, kick this ball a little bit. I do something to keep myself entertained here. Go in the water? Probably not. Oh, he totally can, and there goes the ball. Damn it. Oh my god, I can't even pick it up. Alright, maybe when we buy the fishing rod, we can recover that thing. That's like the most active thing we've done in the game so far. Kick the ball into some water. 
Uh, your guy getting the hang of things, the way you work, I'd be happy to have you work your full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? In any case, I can see you're putting a lot of effort, so this time, uh, 580 bells, oh sweet. I need you to deliver an axe to mint. Be extra careful. They see that you're light in your eyes, now the stuff delivery wrapped, so you couldn't use it. Even if you want to, so don't get any ideas. Hmm, if you want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe. Very good then. Hey, wait. Is he implying that I, in theory, could use this axe? Chop down some trees. Oh man. Ah, uh, <laughs> you can't. It's it's marked as a delivery. You're not allowed to actually use it. Or can you? No, you can't. Uh, okay. Where's mint? Mint is literally right over here. Um, all right, where are you, Mint? Hey, what's going on? Here's an axe. Enough chit chat. Here's your axe, Mint. Here's the thing you axed for. Looks like it's getting the hang of your job, Teehee. Think you'll stay a delivery yokel until you retire? Oh, I'm just having fun with you. Insulting you, mocking you. Calling you stupid, lame, and idiot. These are the things the animals in town do to show you that they like you. Um, oh! <laughs> wait. Uh, I signed my name, too. Oh, yeah, uh, I totally did give you this letter. I'm so I'm sorry, Mint. I'm sorry. There's some that I'm gonna get you. Not to be a backseat letter, gal, but talk about poor writing. I mean, yawn. Wait, what? I can't show this to anybody. <laughs> What, you didn't know? I had this habit of showing off the letters I received all my friends. I'm so kooky. Don't show this letter to anyone, Mint. They're gonna think I'm a psycho. Uh, they just cannot get enough of them. It's part of my global appeal. Most letters I get are so, shall we say, interesting. Uh, just wouldn't be right to keep them all. So since you never know who might see the letters I get from you, I'd avoid writing anything embarrassing. Embarrassing for you, not for me. Okay, center yourself, girl. Calm, blue sea. I'm fine now. You best remember I could move away anytime. When I do, I'll bring my letters with me and show them to all my new superior friends. Um, okay, so I feel like she's telling me she didn't like this letter. Uh, okay, so now she wants another letter sometime soon. I don't know if we're actually going to write her a letter. I feel like I'm being strong-armed into writing letters that say things I don't actually feel. I'm not going to write her a nice letter just because she wants a nice letter. Like, screw her. Um, anyway, let's see what else we got to do. Uh, your next job will be... Um, you've seen the bulletin board in front of our house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for the bulletin board. Uh, you get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting. Don't write anything that might embarrass me. Uh, once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Never?! Well, off you go. I thought pencils had erasers, man. I think this stuff was all permanent. Alright. Bulletin board is somewhere over here. Far up. Down one. Here we go. Um, what are we gonna write? Okay, right. Um, all right, here we go. Slide on into Nook's Cranny for a good time. Wholesome, friendly. I think this is a great bulletin board post. I did you solid, Nook. You're gonna get a lot more customers because <laughs> of my post. Did you put a buzz generating ad up there? Oh, it's gonna generate some buzz. Very good, I suppose. You're all done. All the work I had gotten around. Wonderful time. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. The rest of your mortgage? Of course, you still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records. Hmm, yeah, so far you've worked off 1,400 bells. That's more than I thought I would. Still 17,000 left. Not exactly something to sneeze at. Since there's no more work for you, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. How youngster you can make some bells, I suppose running errands for the villagers and selling things you do no longer need. Um, okay. Just come to me and ask, I'll give you a fair price. So he wants me to sell him stuff. And when you want to make payment on your mortgage, do it at the post office. And if you can pay off about a thousand bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send raccoon goons. Just a joke. Once you pay it off, we can talk about remodeling. 
So once you have paid off your house, I think then you can get a bigger house. I think that that's how that works. Um, yay! Yes! I finally done working! I'm free! Free! That everyone who quit a crappy job in their life. Um, okay. So. Uh, that's a shovel. The price is 500 bells. The steel, never mind. I want a fishing rod, man. Uh, I think we might have to wait for a second day before we can get a fishing rod. Um, okay. However, there is a way to put in passwords here. Okay, first of all, let's enter a password to get a ton of cash. What can I do for you? Other things. Um, okay, hold on. Say code. Tell me the password. All right, here's where we can enter a password. Here is the password for 30,000 bells. And bear with me here. Like, look how long this is getting already. This is actually insane. They couldn't have made these a little shorter. <laughs> what were they afraid of? Oh my god. This is this is actually crazy. And they're missing like letters, lowercase, uppercase, letters, punctuation. Like, why is this all necessary? It's cool that there are codes in this game, but like, yo, calm down here. This is excessive. Why are capital T? This should do it. I see, I see. 30,000 bells has arrived for you. Oh, from Project High Roll, sweet. All right, now let's, uh, now that we're, oh, hold on. Um, pause this. Take our 30,000 and put it into... Wait, we want to open this. And then we want to grab it and put it into our pocket. Walking around with a fat stack of 30,000 Gs. We can pay off our mortgage in like one go if we want. Um, alright. Just specify whatever you'd like to order, alright? It's quite simple. Alright, what would we like to order? Um, let's see what we got here. Uh... There's, like, literally nothing. Nothing of value at all. Wait, what? How do I get a fishing rod? <laughs> um... Okay, well, I guess we'll buy the shovel. Like, the only thing we can do. Uh, that shovel, the price is 500 bells. It's a steal at that price. Would you like it? I'll buy it, sir. Okay, let's at least go use the sh shovel a bit. Um, blah, 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 blah. Would, would have liked to have, like, an axe or fishing rod, too. I wonder, hold on, if we leave, um, and then come back, will there now be a fishing rod in there? Let's see. No, it's sold out. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to go and change the date again. Uh, but we have a few things to do um, before that. First, grab. There, we got a shovel. Now we can just start digging up the land. Wonder if we can find anything to actually dig up. Um, oh, look, like right here. Ooh, what's that? I dug up a mega freakoid. Sweet. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, let's go decorate our house a little bit. Um, can we dig in front of our house? No, we can't. All right. Heading into our sweet, sweet home. Our sweet abode. Uh, I can turn the lights on and off. Let's turn them on. And let's spread this on the floor. Ah, look at this nice floor now. We no longer have the sheet metal. Now we have, uh, red tiles. Doesn't seem like a huge improvement. Steel flooring. What's this? Okay, let's try and put the painting on the wall. Grab. Or, wait, did we just drop it? There we go. Alright, look at that beautiful painting. We got a radio. We can turn on. There's no music. Do you want to listen to something? 
pop in a tune. But you don't have any music. Oh, okay. Well, that's sad. Um, all right, we've decorated our house, sort of. Um, we got our shovel. We can go and dig in. I think what we should do is go and change the clock. First of all, it's only 5.53. We definitely want to see these fireworks. So let me save the game here. Welcome home, Jay. How might I be of assistance? Save. Would you like to save? That's right. Request processed. Please enter the house. Alright, we're retiring for the evening. Gonna have a quick power nap and we, we're gonna wake up for the fireworks. We're already done, so what do you want me to do? I'm gonna go save and quit. Um, and so the game will save. We'll get booted to the title screen, then we can re-enter and reset the clock. I wish there was a way in-game to reset the clock. Okay, there we go. I think we saved. Be seeing ya. Alright, now... Yeah, look at that. It's like fall. Yeah, you go through different seasons too, so if you play this game in December or February, you have snow, and... If you play in like October, you get the fall, and there's like spring and summer. So it's, it's pretty cool actually with like what you can do with the dates. And they have like Christmas Day is Toy Day, and like... Thanksgiving is a harvest festival. Like, there's all these holidays in Animal Crossing to actually link up. Um, uh, so, before I go, we're going to change the time. Uh, other things. We want to set the clock. And so we want it to be... Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is good. So I think I'm just looking at my uh, walkthrough cheat sheet here. It says uh, July 4th, um, 1900 to 21 is fireworks. Also, Ju in July and August, there's morning acrobatics at 6 to 7 a.m. It's too bad that... See, it's, it, I'd like to see some of these events, but it's like we'd have to keep quitting the game and coming back in. So it's like just not practical really to do. Um, uh, but it's like there's lots of stuff to, like, discover in this game, uh, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'm Jay. Uh, okay. Let me in, Huggy. Let me into my town. I'm here to see the fireworks, yo. I guess we're not even gonna get to fish, honestly, like, unless, uh, that guy is selling us a fishing rod. Or maybe there's a cheat code for it. I'll, I'll look that up. The fireworks festival is about to begin. Oh sweet. Let's do it. I don't think it's up here. Hello, Mr. Monkey, sir. Are you planning on going on a trip? Uh, I'm not going. Uh, that's a shame. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I guess you can visit other towns. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. The fireworks festival, I think, is down by the water. Let's check our mail first. We have nothing. I don't know why it was blinking. How sad and disappointing. Get my hopes up just to dash them. Thank you, game. Um, and... I guess this way is the, the fastest way. I'm looking at the map. Oh, the sky is like, uh... Ooh, that's cool! Fireworks! Fourth of July! Also Canada Day! Oh, there we go. Oh, look in the water. You can see them. Oh, that's cool. Hey, who's this guy? What up, Red? My favorite customer. Good to see you. Step right up. Look what I've got for you. Aren't the cute bright bobbin balloons? 4,800 bells a pop. Probably shouldn't say pop. How about it? Will you take one? Man, I got money to burn. Give me, give me everything you got. I'll take a red balloon. Those bells just burning a hole in your pocket. Thank you so much. Can we actually hold the balloon? Um, nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Grab. Yeah, there we go. We have a balloon. <laughs> We're celebrating the fireworks. We're celebrating the fireworks. Um, I want to get down right near the water, though. Um, uh, I thought it was supposed to be down here, but I guess not, actually. They said it was near the lake, but I guess that's, like, the ocean. 
So it was actually up here. Oh, by the way, this is a museum. Uh, we never checked this out. But, I mean, there's nothing set up in here right now, but you can find, like, fossils and bugs, and you can contribute and, like, help set up a museum uh, architecture stuff. So, yeah. So that's the thing, the museum. Um, anyway, let's get our balloon out. Participate in the festivities. So where are the fireworks being set off, then? They're, like, over here somewhere. We have like an hour to figure it out. Um, oh, I guess the I guess the lake is just like right up here. So this is this is it right over here. So here's where the fireworks are. Got a couple of townsfolk watching on and cheering. What's up, Huggy? All right. Well, I mean, as interesting as the fireworks are, why don't why don't we set the clock for one more day here? Let me see if I can find, like, a good holiday, and we'll see about, um... We'll see if we can actually also, uh, get a fishing rod. Alright. Well, July 4th was great. Time to fast forward time. All right, and see what I mean about how there's like winter and stuff and look you can chop down trees if you get an axe So there's lots to do um, I think what we're gonna go for is The fall sports fair So this will be the last day that we pick and again. I still have a little secret to show you guys um, So let's change the date other settings So we want to set the clock Two. Uh, so I want this to be September. September 23rd, I think. That should be our day. This is September 23 slash 24. So I'm not sure which day. Hopefully this is it. And we're going to go for 11 a.m. And we'll set this to zero. And this will be, so fall, the autumn metal fall sports fair. At 9 a.m. there's gymnastics, 11 a.m. foot race, 13 o'clock, so 1 p.m. there's a ball game, and 15 o'clock there's tug of war. Oh, actually, we should do the ball game. Forget about the foot race. All right, let's go, let's go play some baseball. Some baseballs. Yeah, let's do this. I'm Jay. Hank, you don't recognize me? It's your old pal, Jay. I know I haven't seen you since the summer, but it's me. Time has withered my once youthful looks. All right. Ah, oh, here we go. Nice and sunny now. It's time for more sports fair fun. Today's third activity will be ball toss. All right, we got to find this ball toss. Where would it be occurring? That's actually, <laughs> that's actually a good question. Um, uh, I think the wishing well, so we want to go there. Um, so let's just head over to the far left. I like the, how the game is like nice and summery and sunny at times. Um, and we still have our July 4th balloon. As to everybody else, that was like weeks ago, but for us, it was like literally just a couple minutes ago because we traveled through time, yo. I can hear games. Oh yeah, look at it. <laughs> the ball toss. Okay. How do we participate? Uh, what errands have you? Okay, hold on. Let's go and unequip this. There we go. And I wanna, I wanna participate. I want to participate. Look, they're doing it. That looks so fun. Hey, Tortimer. Jay, you're late. Look at me. Well, since you're here, I've got something for you. What is it? Uh, it's an autumn medal. Now look like a real champion. Uh, go in, go in. Keep my dream alive. I want to play. I want to play. I can't figure out how to play. <laughs> oh, you can run. I forgot. <laughs> I figured this out yesterday, too. You can run. Um, 
All right, well, can't figure out how to play, but we can watch these guys play. Anyway, events are a thing, as you can see. There's like little events throughout the year. There, there's many more. I mean, we could have done a race, I guess, but whatever. It's. I feel like the the like little elements. I wouldn't even classify as mini games. Like they're very light interactive things you know like the fireworks it was really just going and seeing some fireworks and buying a balloon like there really wasn't honestly that much to do um and i feel like the same is true of like the fairs and all sorts of stuff there's mother's day in this game so it's like you can uh go and i guess mail cards to your mom or whatever all sorts of stuff um, there's something important I need to do for me. I'd like you to represent J-Town as a member of the Happy Room Ac Academy. All you have to do is arrange things in your house with a little style. On occasion, the Academy will judge the interior. Alright, whatever. How about it? Do you think you can do this? How about, leave it to me, Nook. I got it covered. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Hey, he's still just selling a shovel, damn it. How do I buy a fishing rod from you, man? Alright, well, I don't know how you get a fishing rod. I don't know how you do it. Uh, let me actually... I am gonna check if there's a cheat for this, though. There is not. Alright, well, there's only one thing left to show you guys, and I've kind of saved the best for last. Alright, you come to Tom Nook, and you tell him a password. And this is the code you tell him. 1N5%N5%8JUJE5FJ1E5 five percent N percent eight J U J E five F J one E C G R four percentage Y N C five E U P and you get I see I see. This baseball is the prize for winning. Alright, thank you very much. What uh, what did I get? I got a baseball. Um no. I gotta go to my house to show you guys this. Hold on, we're gonna get there. All right, here we go. Uh, turn on the lights. Why do we have bugs in here? That's actually very disturbing. Uh, anyway, here's our baseball game. Oh yeah, it's a Nintendo Entertainment System with the game Baseball. A cool thing about Animal Crossing is that you can play uh, NES games. Press the L button, the R button, and the Z all at once to quit playing. We have a Nintendo emulator <laughs> built in. This is honestly the reason that you should play Animal Crossing. You have Balloon Fight, Baseball, Clue Clue Land, Clue Clue Land 2, Donkey Kong Jr. Math, Donkey Kong Excite Bike, Golf, uh, and Wario's Woods. And all of them can just be unlocked with, uh, with codes. So, here we go. We're playing NES Baseball. <laughs> in Animal Crossing. And I think this is the, the way we should, uh... Oh crap, I swung way too early. I think this is how we should sign off the game, like, in an NES game, because, I don't know. Oh, yeah! Go, 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 go! Oh, safe! Um, yeah, I don't know. So Animal Crossing here, it's an interesting idea for a game. Um, it's one of the games in the book, A Thousand of Video Games You Just Play Before You Die. Um, and anyway, actually, I am going to quit the NES game here. Let's end, let's actually end on, uh, on Animal Crossing. Oh, we have more bugs. How do you get rid of bugs? Oh, you step on them and, they, and the ghosts come out. <laughs> Great pest control here. But isn't that so cool to have an NES in the game? I don't know. I, I, as a retro gamer, I love it. Um, Animal Crossing here, one of the games of book a thousand of video games just play before you die. I think it's like an interesting idea for a little game. Um, it is almost more of like a, just a casual, relaxing, come into this game world and like just do little errands, explore. There's not really necessarily like a goal or a boss in like a traditional sense. I mean, you know, you can work to like uh, build a, a bigger, nicer house and like decorate it the way you want it and stuff. But there's not really too much to do. It's a lot of like errands, like going back and forth, talking to people. There's digging and fishing, which we didn't get to see, unfortunately. Uh, but it's all very basic. So it's more of just the experience of actually being in a place and being in a virtual world. It's like The Sims. It's like Second Life. It's like Harvest Moon, only with less directional gameplay like even harvest moon you had to at least harvest this you don't have to do anything real like you just walk around this could be you playing the game so yeah it's an interesting little game i think for me 
even back in the day, I don't know if I really would have got into this because I feel like it just doesn't have enough to do for me. But I am kind of very curious now about what the later, uh, you know, what the later Animal Crossings are like because I know the one on the Switch that came out not too long ago, people went nuts over that. And uh, I think there would probably be a lot more to do in a more modern Animal Crossing game because this really is an N64 game. Right, and think of like all that's improved in terms of gameplay and sophistication since the N64 days. There's probably tons more mini games, tons more activities. Uh, I think Animal Crossing now is more social, so it's like you're playing. It's basically like an MMO, like you might be playing with friends and stuff. Don't quote me on that because I haven't tried it, but um, yeah, it, I, I think like for historical purposes, this is like an interesting little game. It might be a little basic by today's standards. You might have had to have only had access to this and not the later Animal Crossings in order for this to like really jump out at you back in the day, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Hey, we found a fossil. What do you guys think of Animal Crossing here? Is it a game that you grew up in? Do you have fond memories of this game? Did you run around uh, trying to get home at certain times on certain days to, uh, you know, try and... Uh try and hit up certain events in the game did you know about the codes did you ever play an nes game in animal crossing which again i think is the coolest feature um let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this game i'd love to hear your opinions on it and as always whatever you think of uh you know the game here hopefully you had some fun today hopefully it was kind of interesting if you did enjoy yourself don't forget to like the video and all that jazz and i will catch you guys in the next one so until next time my friends i'm just going to be here trying to uh donate my fossils the museum oh we actually did donate it okay hold on so we'll give this to him i just want to really quickly see um if we go into the fossil exhibit now um uh, oh they're not collecting it oh man fossils paintings insects and fish what did i actually get i thought i found fossils i i honestly thought i found a fossil hold on uh no get out of here blathers Oh god, saying goodbye to him. Look how much look how much dialogue there is just to say goodbye. Four screens of dialogue. What is this? A Venus comb. What is this? An autumn metal. I thought I had a fossil. Oh, here it is. Okay, hold on. We're so close to signing off, I know it, but I just want to see a fossil in a museum. And we can say we did some stuff in Animal Crossing. History can never say we didn't try with this game. They're just, I, uh, like, I would argue there isn't too much to do or see in this game in the sense of, like, there's not too much difference between just walking around and actually doing a few things. Like, um, it's very simple, uh, and the ideas in this game, but anyway. Um, okay, so he's assessing the identity. I've yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer an official examination. If I were mistaken, you see, I fear I would be... So we say severely chastised, severely indeed. I'm terribly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main fairway museum. Oh my God, we gotta mail it somewhere. Okay, well, <laughs> that's not happening. All right, guys, hope you had fun today. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace. Dear God, it took a lot for that guy to shut up. Oh, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, safe.